Okay, and we are now live. Let me just adjust the camera here. Hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Monday Motivation. It's the first Monday of the month. It's August the 3rd. So um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Monday Motivation, what we do is you know, we try to start the week, right? Uh, let me know how the audio is going. Yeah, let me know if you can hear me and if you can see me. Yes, we start off the week, right? Just trying to get on the right foot. Uh, let me just make sure that everything is working here properly. Give me one moment. Um, let me let me see, okay? Um, yes, if you can hear me and see me, please let me know. Please say hi in the comments down below. All right, and yes, I'm streaming over here from Cebu City. Um, it's a pretty nice day. It rained last night. It's a little bit rainy, but things are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I just heard that uh, Manila, the Manila area is back to MECQ. Um, here in Cebu, we are in GCQ, so I guess, you know, exchange to man. You know, we're exchanging places, MECQ and GCQ. We'll see how this goes, you know. Let's hope for the best um, in, in this season. I hope you're staying safe. Hope your family stays safe. And, and yeah, better, better be safe than sorry especially with everything that's going around. Hello, Ayi, good morning. Hello, you're from Antipolo. Yes, good morning, good morning. Today we're talking about we're talking about changes and things that things in your life that you can't really control. I'm just checking here in the comments yeah, if you can if everything is good. Uh, yes, Evelyn, good morning from Dubai. Hello, Lenny from Marikina. All right, glad you guys are here joining us today. Um, Alex, uh, hello, you're from Metro Manila. Are you guys, uh, you guys are an MECQ na naman. So how's it, how's it going for you guys? How are you, how are you doing with the new MECQ? Are you staying safe? Have you guys adjusted? Parang biglaan, no? Um, yung changes, changes that we're going through. But in this season, we have to be ready for changes, right? And we're talking about this. Mga things in life that you can't really control. Hello, Melissa. Melissa. Um, happy Monday. Yes, happy Monday. To you as well. Okay, okay, I'll just jump right into our message today. Now, in life, we don't always get exactly what we want, right? We want to G, like Manila, you want to GCQ, but you have MECQ, so um, not exactly what, what you wanted, right? But that's how life is. You, you know, you prepare for an exam, but all you get is just a passing grade. Uh, you know, after 10 years of hard work, you're just a contractual employee. You haven't things aren't going according to plan you know you're a loyal employee but management agreed for an acquisition so now you're jobless but you have that experience maybe you clean the house but after five minutes the toys are all over the floor once again you know maybe you consistently made cover letters and applied for online jobs for almost one year but you still don't have results you know as Alanis Morissette's song goes you know life has a funny way of sneaking up on you, right? Life has a funny way of sneak up, sneaking up on you. You see, our lives will never be perfect in every single aspect, okay? You know, even the Pope, right? Even Bill Gates, these people who are like on top of the world, they have issues in life. They've got their own issues, but how do you think that they handle their issues? How do they handle their issues? Just like you and me, they've got issues, but how do they handle their issues? What sets them apart is their attitude towards the issues. The, reali the, the reality that we all deal with is you need to learn and accept and even embrace situations that you can't control or else if you don't you'll live a life full of unnecessary stress. Of course major, changer, major changes in life like when you lose a job, when you, when you have a new baby, when your financials are low or if you're living with toxic people that can put one in misery right we can be really in, a, in that state like depression and misery and if you feel that way that's fine okay that is okay you have to let yourself feel that emotion you know you can cry you can get angry but you just just let it out you know just let it out but don't take too long okay don't stay in that emotional phase in that emotional state forever or too long because What's going to happen is you're going to be missing out on what life has to offer. If you're staying in that state too long, if you're too sad, if you're too depressed, if you're feeling that emotion for too long, it's, yes, it's right to feel it, but don't stay too long or you're going to miss out on what life has to offer. What we have to do is acknowledge the realities, acknowledge that 
the things are bad and acknowledge that you know things have happened and once you acknowledge that that will help you move forward you have to be brave you have to be strong enough to change situations that make you miserable you find realistic solutions that will lead you to become a better person you should be ready and open yourself up to changes you know or adjustments in your lifestyle you know adjustments in your attitude adjustment in your habits find a positive community that will help you with the different changes that you need to take maybe you're in flip right to, to, to make those positive changes in your life so let me ask you I'm gonna ask you right this are you happy with where you are right now are you happy with everything that's going on in your life right now you can answer yes or no I'm happy are you happy with everything that's going on you, know, you can just answer yes you can answer no or maybe you don't want to share too much but I'd appreciate if you did answer are you happy so I want you to think of this quote from Maya Angelou if you don't like something if you don't like something change it if you can't change it then change your attitude okay let me repeat that if you don't like something change it if you can't change it then change your attitude all right um, no, if you're not happy with your situation, if you're not happy with everything that's going on in your life, what are you going to do about it? You know, I think all of us have things that we want to change, right? All of us have things that aren't perfect. We don't live perfect lives. And if we see something that's not that, that we can improve with the situation, what are we going to do about it? What are gonna, we going to do about those, those things, those things in your life? So I want us to, to make this comment, this comment, this commitment, you know, this is a commitment to, to yourself, okay? I want you to make this commitment to yourself, and this is in front of everybody, of course, sharing it with everyone here, but this is more for yourself. I will open myself up to change, all right? So just type that in the comment section. Um, I'm also going to type it right now. I will open myself up to change. Okay, so this is the comment the commitment that you're making to yourself you know it's, you're not open. making it to me of course you're making it um, in front of everyone but yeah I will open myself up to change uh, okay now that I've got here a couple of announcements uh, later at 6 p.m. we have flip chat and chill it's the best online jobs for breastfeeding moms so we have Anna we have Phoenix we have special guests um, I'm not gonna be joining because I'm not a breastfeeding mom not yet um, on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m., I will be interviewing Monica Chang. She'll be sharing how she leveled up her life and her career without a college degree. So that's later at, oh, sorry, that's on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. And on Friday, I'll be having my five minutes to happy um, session. So there's a five minute session just sharing four tips to be productive in the times of COVID. That's Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning over here. All right, um, let's make this commitment. This commitment, I will open myself up to change. Okay, let me go over the comment section here. Hello, uh, good morning, Narben. Good to hear that you are happy. Good to hear that you're open. You're opening yourself up to change. Um, I, hello, uh, Joy from Laguna. Uh, Dodds, good morning. Uh, Yvette from Pandaka. I don't know where that is. Uh, Melanie from UAE. Thank you for joining tonight. Uh, well, this morning, tonight, sa inyo, di ba? <laughs> Alex, anxious, what else can happen? Good thing there's freelancing to look forward to. Nice, yeah, there, there are always things to look forward to, Alex, di ba? Things are, are problematic, things are unsure, but there's we should always have that hope. We should always have something to look forward to. All right, um, Mariette, just to let you know, I have paid three nine ninety for my basic training enrollment fee. When do I start? Did you, uh, Mariette, did you email us the deposit slip or the confirmation? Uh, please send us an email um, if you have, and then, uh, yeah, jason at vbootcamp.ph or, or send it along to billing at vbootcamp.ph so that they're going to get it and they can activate your account. Um, Isabella, yes, good to hear. You're happy with things that are going on in your life. Uh, Mariette from Lipa, um, hello. Uh, Jennifer, I will open myself up to change. Lenny, yes. Isabella, yes. Mylene. Uh, Mariette, Camille, Camille, Yvette, yes, open myself up to change, Char, uh, Charmaine, um, 
Desert Me. Um, gagawin mo tong con gagawin ko tong content sa IG. <laughs> yeah, nice. You can make this for IG. I should I should I have to do more IG content. I'm busy, busy. I'm pretty busy, so uh, don't have time to always uh, create the content. Uh, please check your email. Uh, Mariette, it takes 24 to 48 hours. Just to let you know, our billing team um, will get on it. But uh, by by later today, um, they'll, you'll you'll be able to have your access, Mariette. Okay. Um, Christine, hello. Um, Sharon from Apsig, yes. Uh, Mariette, yes. There you go. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you got something from this session. I mean, even if you're watching the replay, please make that commitment. Um, I will open myself up to change, and let's have that attitude where we're, where we're open, where we're making changes or changing our attitude uh, so that we can, you know, move one step closer to our goals. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.